So I've been dying to fix this car. <laughs> Not literally, of course. But uh, the, let's see if you can see. Take a look at the uh, front and the back. What do you see? Yep, that's right. So in the back, it's riding a little on the low side. So we need to resolve that problem. It's a 1993 uh, Chrysler 5th uh, Ave. New Yorker, Chrysler New Yorker. Yeah, that's it. So we need to try to fix that today. This one has been a problem to try to co coordinate, you know, because they're attached to the weather and, you know, parking has to be kind of close to where it is right now. And today it's gonna rain, so better hurry up. Only like three days later, yeah, that rain never stopped. But I'm sure we've ended a drought of all droughts, if there was ever such a thing. Anyway, so let's see what we're dealing with. Height. Let's do a little before and after. Alright, so it looks like we're at uh, 21 inches, the very top. Sorry, I can see it that way. So 21 inches at the top of this bumper, and uh, yeah, we're gonna see how much more inch, how many more inches we get out of this one. So this one's a little bit of a tricky one for me to figure out safe spots to jack and put my jack stands. So I want to show you what I did. So a jack from right here, and then the jack stand here. It's right here. The second one. There. I always like to have three things underneath the car to support it, protect myself, and then we had to chuck the wheels like that. And then one here, one there. Let's get this wheel off. This is our 19 millimeter bolts. Look at your glasses. This is the part number, KG5563, it's a KYB uh, shock. And uh, so it looks like the part number is the same for both sides, left and right. So I'm going to take a look at this and see if it looks the same. Alright, let's check for fitment, see what we got. It says here, uh, it's under pressure, caution, avoid flame, disassemble. Disassembly, sorry. Do not torch or puncture or incinerate. It's made in Japan. That's nice. Okay, so this here, it's the same. So it fits in there. Okay. All right. Looks good to me. All right, so here's my setup. I got a 15. Deep socket, 15 shallow socket on that side. Now my concern is, right, now this thing, this bolt gets seized onto this. Now this doesn't look like it's in that bad of a condition, but because it's, uh, it goes to this bushing right here, often it gets seized. So let's wish for the best. All right, so let's see. I'm tightening it. That's it. Lefty Lucy, I can do this. Well, we know it turns, that's for sure. It's, it's, this vehicle is, it's, uh, for, for being in a rust belt, it's like in remarkably good condition underneath. My concern was I was going to have to fight with this thing for a while. Actually, it's, it spins off, like unscrew, oh, silly me. Alright, yeah. So, there you go. So we got that. Oops. Let's so check it up to get some tension off of that strut. 
Yeah, to make it a bit easier to work with. Oops. Yeah. All right, with the weight off of it, she better just kind of like push the bolt out. There it is. Okay, so that's our prize position right there. So we had a 15 millimeter on this side, that's all I can get in the air. I'm gonna get another uh, 15 millimeter on this side. Let's see how this goes. Good stuff right there, man. Supporting your daughter. There you go. So that's that. Up, down. Maybe down. And down, I think, some pressure off of it. Yep, down does. Okay. Here. Luckiest, luckiest, luckiest people in the world. So I want to talk about something really, really, really important, right? This is a common failure right here, right? See that right there? Now this is a perch for this coil spring. And right in here, it gets rusted out. It's a really bad design. The water just collects underneath here. It's like a cup. It just rots everything out, right? So if you have one of these, and you can see it's in good condition right now as it's not rusted yet. I would go ahead and like do something to prevent that by like co like um, coating it with like grease or do a bar and chain oil mixed with kerosene spray on this. That's what I really want to do. So um, I got to see if I can, uh, I don't know, if, that, if I'm able to do, get that done I'll show you other than that. I'm going to coat it with grease just to try to like buy this vehicle sometime but bar and chain oil and kerosene spray on there and cover this whole thing would be a good idea if you live in a rust belt so these are the two bolts I pulled out this is for the top part of the strut the shorter one it's a bit shorter but like maybe like a half an inch it's the bottom one so we're gonna looks like this one gets exposed to more moisture from the rust so we're gonna clean this one up we're gonna put them back in, but we're gonna do it in a way to think. We're thinking about the future mechanic. Could be me or somebody else, but we're gonna make it right. So. to jack this up, get it into position here. This one a little grease treatment also. That way I won't uh, seize up inside of the bushings under no conditions. Just put that there. Oh, there you go. That's in. Just go ahead and kind of give it a couple taps here. Alright. Put our bolt 
bolts on it. Back here. Get the short one back here. So that's getting tight. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tighten it all the way down yet. I'm gonna go uh, back down at the bottom. All right. So this has torque specs, but I don't really know what they are. And I didn't bother to look. So don't condemn me. Zip tie this. Something like that. Yeah, I think I think that should work like that. Because this doesn't move. It's got enough play so this can go like this from that joint up there. So I think this is good. I don't think it'll slide down or anything like that once it's in place. Yeah. So that's the uh, that's the end of it. It's pretty straightforward as long as you don't have any rust buildup. If you're lucky, like this owner, you want to definitely like uh, grease those bolts, and you also want to at some point do some sort of like uh, spray lubricant, like I talked about on that perch spring. Otherwise, you're gonna lose. You're gonna end up breaking that uh, that perch spring gonna break, and you're gonna end up uh, having to replace that entire bottom cross member bar. So just go ahead and. Uh, do that. If you like the video, go ahead and thumbs up and uh, definitely share with your friends and uh, thanks for hanging out. Same thing on the other side. All right, so I'm not gonna record it. We are definitely moving in the right direction. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yep. All right, so I got a bit of workflow for you. Um, it's easier to actually get the bolt in from the top before you do the bottom. You know, remember how you struggle? So watch. Famous last words. <laughs> Hold on here. Don't make me have to be a liar. Alright, there you go. So go like that. See, it's all loose. And that way, it's all free. The bottom's a little easier to line up, I think. All right, let's see uh, where we end up at. Okay, from the ground to there, we are at 22 and a half. 22 and a half. 